TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 87. NASDAQ was up 32. S&P's up uh, 7.5. And if we go over, first we'll take a look at the SPY, folks. Uh, we'd have with the SPY is this, is that uh, it traded up a buck. You know, 68 million shares traded. Yesterday it did 65. Bottom line is still going into uh, 214 million. Big numbers. Uh, NDX 100, three Qs. You get a failure in price, failure in volume as you got into the highs of the 4th of, February, of uh, March. Uh, we hit a high today of 176.14. You closed at 175.69, which was below the high that we're trading into. You did 32 million shares versus 38. So bottom line, subtle, but you got a failure there, price and volume. Small caps. Now, the small caps have been the weakest. Bottom line, still the weakest out here. Small caps are up uh, $0.08 cents today. Uh, the high in the small caps, 159.50 inside the IWM. You're at 154. And 154.37, uh, bottom line, no action there. Gold contract. Gold contract caught a bid, as did silver. The gold contract today, you're up ten dollars and ninety cents. You're trading at thirteen oh two. You've done nineteen uh, hundred and ninety three thousand contracts. Nice contract volume. You're going into big contract volume, however. We're going into the downdraft that was uh, created out here on the first. Which, which, that's when gold went uh, down 1316 to 1291. That being said, you're eating right into that line. And silver uh, also uh, came up uh, with really good bids out here today. Silver was up 1.1%. Uh, you did volume of 51,000 contracts, nice contract volume. Notes and bonds are still saying at all that they want higher price, lower yield. What has also happened, folks, is this, is that as these want higher price, lower yield, what you're dealing with is that that is what's also pushing that metals market. Because guess what? Uh, when we're talking about interest rates that continue to go down, right now, the 10-year is just, it's at 2.600. So we are going to be under 2.6 tomorrow. Uh, what we have out here in the 10-year is that you, you come into the swing point today, you have the volume come into the swing point. This is going to go after the highs of January 3rd, and I expect we're going to see that tomorrow. And it looks like the 30-year wants to actually take it out, which is pretty amazing. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with numbers after the close. Recap, we have the Dow Industrials down 96, NASDAQ up 32, S&P's up 6.5. Come right back. <laughs>